welcome back to my channel. So I do have another haul to share with you guys. I made a trip to Sephora, so I have quite a few goodies to share with you guys inside here. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Natalie. I make videos about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if those videos interest you, then please consider subscribing down below. So I did head into Sephora looking primarily for some more travel friendly um, style products. We do have a family holiday that is coming up. So I am starting to gather a few items that I am going to need for that trip. Um, so I went in looking for this product specifically. My husband had actually grabbed this little pack for me last year and popped it in my stocking before a trip that we took last year. This is by Laneige. This is called the Hydration to Go um, and it actually says right on here that is carry on approved so it's all of the right size containers this little package is geared primarily for hydration like it says so if you are going to be taking a beach holiday we're going to be out in the sun a lot and your skin is going to be taking a lot of damage from the sun and drying out quite a bit you're going to be needing to hydrate as much as you can at the end of the day um, this one is full of moisturizers basically. There's also a face cleanser um, and there's also a lip sleeping mask which I think is great in one of these little kits. They're super small so they're perfect for travel. Um, we are going to be gone for a week so I probably will have just enough inside all of these little bottles to get me through that full week. So this kit has, um, number one it says it has a multi deep clean cleanser, which is a perfect tiny little travel size. I have used this kind of cleanser um, before and I found it's really, really nice. It's not my everyday cleanser that I use. I do use um, the Fresh brand cleanser, um, but this one for travel is really, really nice. Next is the Water Bank Hydro Essence. This one is basically like a little pump of moisturizer. It doesn't have an oily finish. It's very matte. It would actually go really, really well underneath makeup. So I would recommend that if you guys are looking to get like a larger size. All of these little containers also, they're, they range between 30 milliliters to 10 milliliters. The next item is a Water Bank Hydro Gel. So as well, that one's just going to give you a rush of hydration. I really, really enjoy that one. Uh, the sleeping mask. Number four is the water sleeping mask. I love this. I even got my husband to wear it on our last beach vacation that we took. And then there is a lip sleeping mask. Now I have not used that one yet, so I will let you guys know how I feel about that one. But I think that's important too, not to forget that your lips also get very, very dry and lose a lot of moisture from being out in the sun. So the next item that I grabbed is also by Laneige. Now the little pack that I got last year had this product actually inside here and this year it does not. This year um, I'm noticing they switched it out with the lip sleeping mask. So the item that I had last year was the skin toner. Now I went ahead and I got the large size when I was at Sephora. I really really enjoyed this toner. I actually use the full little size that this pack came with last year. Um, so I am out and when I saw it in there I thought you know what I should grab the larger size um, because it is honestly a really really great toner. This is also a very large bottle. Like this has 200 milliliters or 6.7 fluid ounces. It's quite a large size. Um, it is in a plastic bottle so it isn't it isn't going to be small enough for you to have in your carry-on, um, but it is plastic, so it would be safe for you to have inside your check-on suitcase if you did want to take this on a trip. But honestly, this is quite large. You do not need this much for a holiday. Um, they probably do have a smaller size that you guys can pick up, but I am planning on using this at home as my everyday toner that I use um, as part of my skincare routine. So the next item that I grabbed is also intended for a holiday. Um, it's very small. I think it's going to be a perfect size to be able to take on a trip. It is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I've never actually tried any of the Urban Decay eyeshadows before, so I will give you guys a little bit of an update on how I feel about this product. I have heard really, really great things about Urban Decay, um, specifically their eyeshadow. So 
I'm fairly confident that it is going to be a fairly good product, but I was more drawn um, to the fact that I knew it was a good brand as well as the fact that it was so small. So I'll give you guys a little close up on there. It is more of like a ready brown tinge to the entire palette, but it does have some neutral colors and it obviously then it just gradually gets darker and darker. Um, the darkest one being here is definitely more of a dark brown, but I find those are generally the shades that I end up wearing on a day to day basis. So I think that's what is probably going to be ideal for my skin tones. So let me know what you guys think about this idea. I would love to do a series of videos just themed around our upcoming trip that we are going to be taking. Um, it is going to be a beach holiday, so I think that would be very appropriate since spring break is coming up. I'm sure a lot of you guys are taking a holiday. Um, I'd love to do a bunch of videos, you know, showing you guys what I'm planning on taking in my carry-on and what I'm going to be packing for my holiday. I thought it would also be fun to do another makeup video and do um, like an evening beach holiday makeup look, which I would be able to include then this eyeshadow palette so let me know what you guys think I think that'd be a great idea since spring break is right around the corner and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be taking a holiday during that window so the next item that I picked up is actually an item that I already have but I grabbed the small travel size this is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder and this is the mini size so this size is ideal for travel. I do have the larger size, but I wanted to pick up the smaller size. Um, I think this would be great for travel as well as in your purses. So I am planning on using this in all of my handbags just so that I can take a little bit of loose setting powder with me. Um, I find that it's just helpful to remove any shine or anything that develops during the day. So with the setting powder, I obviously needed a purse friendly brush. So I grabbed this Sephora brand brush. Now this one is supposed to be purse friendly because it does have a cap. Um, it's also supposed to be retractable as well so you can change just the closeness of the bristles. And obviously you could use it for other things like bronzer, but I am gonna be using it for the setting powder. It's super soft. I think it's gonna be really nice just to apply the setting powder loosely all over my face. And then I can also just close it up after and it's not gonna have any powder leaking anywhere. And then place the cap and it can go right in your cosmetic bag inside your handbag. I felt it was a little bit overpriced, but for what you're getting, I think it's actually worth the value. It seems like it's a really good product but I'll let you guys know how I feel about this after I've used it. So the last item that I'm going to show you guys is actually an item that I didn't purchase. It was a free gift with purchase. It's part of the Beauty Insider bonus and it's a two pack of the Sol uh, Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It also has the second scent that they have as well. So inside are two little pots of their products. So this one here is the original one. They both have a very coconutty smell. They're slightly different. This one is a looser product. Um, this one is the newer one. This one's called the Coco Cabana Cream. This one has more of like a lotion-like texture. It smells pretty much fairly similar. They're both very coconutty. And then this one is the original one. And if you guys go to Sephora, then you'll probably be very familiar with this product. This one's more of like a body butter type product. So they are quite small. They actually would be really perfect, not only for travel, but also for your handbags. They are really tiny and would fit perfectly in a cosmetic pouch. So if you guys are familiar with the Boom Boom creams, I just want to show you the size difference of the Beauty Insider sample that they are giving out. So this is the large tub. Um, this was actually the first one that I bought, but it is quite large, so I actually just keep this one at home. Um, this size on top here, this is their smaller one that they sell, which would be more appropriate for travel for a trip. Um, and then this one is the Beauty Insider um, giveaway size. So you can see there the three sizes. So this one is actually quite a bit smaller than the actual travel smaller size that they do sell. And then this is the larger tub right down here. Hey okay, guys, so that wraps up my Sephora haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing down below before you leave. I love Sephora, so I will be doing quite a few more um, Sephora hauls for you guys. Guys, Sephora is dangerous. I can get lost in that store and give them all of my money. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.